Welcome back to Espros Outdoors. Today is gonna be 95 degrees, which for a lot of you guys are like, oh, that's easy peasy. But for me, man, it's like this is a warm day. So I put on my dreaded shorts. As you can see, unfortunately, the better fisherman. I'm a turtle. Isn't here. So we're just gonna be God and me today on the boat. Or is that a fish? Oh, that's a fish. I got a fish on, guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What do we got? I hope it's one of those Nemnas Walla. I don't know why I decided to talk Southern. Maybe it's because it's got shorts on. Aw. I guess I am Southern. It's a not bad. We don't need no net. There you go, guys. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. All right, it's not big, but it's a fish. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I got a fish on, I got a fish on. My, my camera is overheating, I hope it doesn't shut off. But, uh, oh, it's off now. All right, guys, we got a little bit of cannibalism. Perch eating a perch, it's pretty hilarious. Oh, there we go, oh, there we go. It's an actual fish, yes. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. I just lost my first muskie. Oh. He bit me off. <laughs> to me, it's funny. <laughs> well, there you go. I lost my first muskie. All right, so it's super hot. And it's the middle of the day, which I always say is like the worst time to fish. So I want to get some underwater footage while I cool down. So an update on my day. It's kind of going slow. I really was hoping to catch some monsters, caught those couple dinks. So, but I figure if I can't be a fisherman of fish, then what I really should be, and I should always be this, is a fisherman of men, as the Bible says. So, here's my question. Uh, I'd love to see it in the comments. What's God been doing in your life? Something that I've been doing as I've gotten older in my walk with Christ is spending all my time in the New Testament. And I put this thing on me and I don't know why, but that thing was, I was always reading things that I thought I was supposed to be reading in scripture. And I wasn't letting myself really read things that really interest me. And God laid it on my heart. He's like, you know, if you really want to be studying the word and be really interested in the word, dive deep into the things that you really love. So I went back to my roots and I jumped back into the Old Testament. I love the story of David and all that surrounds him. It's funny because when I read it years ago and really read it, I had like these rose colored glasses on for King David and David and prior to King David. And it's just like, wow, he's an awesome guy. He's a hero. He's, you know, this BA guy, but he was also very flawed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool to go back and just be like, you know what? Even though David is flawed, God still used him in really powerful ways. Something uh, small that I kind of always gla glanced over was there's a time when Jonathan was fighting the Philistines with his father, Saul. And I thought it was really interesting because he only gets this small little like one or two paragraphs where it's like, 
he snuck out of his father's camp to go fight the Philistines and all of a sudden he runs across right around 20 Philistines and he just tells God he's like you know what God I'm gonna go reveal myself to them and if they tell me to come here then I will know that you are with me and I will attack them and if they say to run away then I'll know that you're not with me today and I will run and uh, all of a sudden he revealed himself to these 20 Philistines and all of a sudden they're like hey come let us show you you know show you how it's done basically and uh, he knew that that was a sign from God that you know God was with him he ended up getting rid of those 20 Philistines uh, just him and his armor bearer and it just goes to show like even he had some faith in God so that was something that stuck out but basically what I'm just telling you all is start digging into the things in the scriptures that really interest you because for me it really really spiked my interest in reading again getting uh, deeper in the word with God so anyways love to see what your comments down below are uh, thanks for watching